How to add a background image to your Shopify store. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with adding background images to your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this video is going to have a little bit of code, but don't worry because I'm going to break it down for you guys. I'm going to leave this code in the description box down below and you don't have to code at all. You just have to copy and paste this and I'll break it down exactly how you have to do that. So don't worry at all. Now let's get started. So what do I mean by the background? A lot of people think, oh, you can just replace the image. This is the background, isn't it? No. When I'm talking about the background of my Shopify store, I actually mean the entire background. So you see this padding on the right and left, all of that is included in the background. My header does not have color, so this is also just a part of the background and my background is plain white. So to customize this and add my own uh, image or, you know, my own background, one thing I need to do is to upload my image. So I have this image that I want to add or maybe this one. And if you want to upload your own image, just go into filemail.com and you can click on add files and you can choose whichever image you want to make as your background. So it could be any image. You can just open that up and click on send. And once you upload your file, you can get a link that you can use in your Shopify store that we're going to be using to actually integrate this as the background. Now, how do you add the background? Well, the first thing you have to do is click on your online store on the left panel. Once you click on online store over here, you want to click on these three dots over here and click on duplicate. Now, the reason that we are duplicating our store is because if you ever mess up the code of your store, you always have a pre-existing backup or a copy of the original code and you can restore it back to its original state instead of having to worry later on that if you ever just mess up anything, you have a pre-existing copy to go back onto. Now, after this, what you're going to do is you're going to click on these three dots and then click on edit code. Now, this will open up the code editor of Shopify and you will see multiple different sections. You have your layouts, you have templates, sections, snippets, configurations, locales, and assets. Just click on assets and within assets, you will find the second option or the first option maybe, which is going to be base.css. You're just going to open up base.css. Now in base.css, you want to scroll to the bottom. And once you scroll to the bottom, what you're going to do is you're going to take this code over here. You're just going to copy this code and I'll leave this code in the description box down below. And what you're going to do is you're going to enter give it some space and click on paste over here. Now, once you do that, you're going to see your background color, background position, and then your background image. In this section over here where it says copy here, you're just going to insert the URL that you have of your particular background. We're just going to click on copy. And once we click on copy, we're going to paste it and replace the copy here section. Now I'm going to click on save on the top right. And now let's take a preview of our store. So this is our store and we have our link added. So make sure that your link has been added. And now we can edit the code. Once our code has been edited, the background should appear if you're having issues with your background. So I edited the code on this. And just to make sure I'm going to go back into my section over here and scroll down. Yeah, so we have our image added and I'm going to go on ahead and preview our store. Now, you guys can see the image is not being added. The reason for this might be your file size. If the file size is too small, then your image might not be added to your store. So it's better to just wait a couple of seconds to make sure if your image is loading up or not. And then you can view your online store to take a look. Now. If your image is, has too much of a lower resolution, then it's not going to get added. But I'm going to click on customize. I'm going to click on these three dots and click on edit code. And then you can go back into the assets. Within assets, you're going to go into base CSS. In base CSS, just scroll down. And once you scroll down, you're just going to add this code. So we're going to remove all other sections 
and then just copy this and then add it over here and then you are going to copy image address and then you're going to paste it over here like this so now i'm going to click on save and once you've done that, you should be able to see your particular image that is going to be shown in the background. So I will take a higher resolution image because the images that I have previously used have been a bit more of a lower quality. So if I go ahead and go into Google and just search for background, because those are obviously made in higher resolutions. Let's take this one over here. I am going to click on open image in new tab. And I'm just going to copy the image link. And we're just going to view our store right now. And then going back into our code. Clicking on edit code. Going into the base CSS. Scrolling down. And then inserting our URL over here like this i'm going to click on save on the top right and then i'm going to click on preview store to be able to see whether or not our changes are being made to our store so make sure you also keep in mind the border attachment the background variation your background color you have transparent we're just going to remove that we can click on format and click on preview store now if you're having images or if you're having issues with adding your images depending on the resolution and whatnot we're going to add a alternate code instead so if you want to set up the background image so you can go into css background image property and you are just going to copy this code over here and you can go into your store click on the three dots and begin editing the code once more and once you edit the code, you're going to go back into the same thing. You're going to go into your assets. So once you go into assets, go into base CSS. You're going to scroll down and then you're going to click on this code. And after that, you can copy the image URL. And instead of paper GIF, you can add whatever it might be. So I've just added this URL. And then you're going to click on save over here. So after going through a couple of changes, I realized that we skipped out on a dot in our code that we created. So that is why we were facing some issues. Now, I know a lot of people might be thinking that, hey, if I skip out on a dot, is it going to ruin my website? As you guys just saw, it wasn't doing anything because it wasn't actually, you know, appearing in my code. So you have to make sure you're copying the first dot that you have in your code and then you're going to click on over here. I've already, you know, added the image, but I'll show you guys how to do it again. So I'll just take any random image. I'll just search for backgrounds over here and let's take, um, just taking a look at some of the backgrounds like this one over here. I'm going to open this image in a new tab. You can choose any image that you want or that you might have created. And try to make sure it's a high resolution image simply because otherwise it's going to copy and paste the same image over and over again. So that can be a bit annoying to look at. So I like to make sure that the image is larger in size. Let's say, for example, if it's like this or whatever, you know, even if it's like a plain color, I just want it to be larger in size. So I'm going to open this image in a new tab and now I'm going to click on edit code. I'm going to go into assets, going to base CSS, scroll down and I'll just cut all this. And then I'm going to copy the same code again, making sure that I'm copying my entire code. And then I'm going to copy the image link that we have and then go back into the section over here and click on paste and then we're going to click on save on the top right and once you've done that we can click on preview store and you guys can see the background has now been replaced with this image so wherever i hadn't added any image or background color it's automatically adding our default background which is now this image so in this way you can add your own background images now if you want to make these more 
you know, precise, then you can go on to w3schools.com. Over here, you can actually find multiple different types of, you know, codes. And you can just go on ahead and copy these codes like this. And you will be able to see how it's going to appear. And you can make your backgrounds more customizable. You can go into the CSS codes. And if I want a CSS image, if I want dual images like this, I can just open this up. And then I can copy my code over here to enter my URL and enter my own customized code elements into my Shopify store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.